Charlie Crow is sometimes as a legend. The last surviving member of the 1951 FA Cup winning team he played alongside the likes of Jackie Milburn and Joe Harvey. And today, he made a poignant final visit to St James's Park to raise money for researching to Alzheimer's, a condition he's been battling for more than a decade. How can you do his memories have gone, but his legacy lives on. An FA Cup winner, Charlie Crow, joined Newcastle in 1943 for a £10 fee. He's very hard here. He's left back. He's got up and down his flank. Very quick, nippy. Very strong. Fair. Very honest here. Yeah, he's a massive legend. I came across him when I was eight years old. My dad used to drink in the pub that Charlie had in Newcastle. When you grow up as a child in Newcastle and you hear about great players in Newcastle lads, Charlie would always get a mention. He played nearly 180 league games for the club. His final appearance to raise money for a scanner to research Alzheimer's. We're hoping that this new scanner with such a um, tremendously high resolution will be able to pinpoint cells in the brain as they're changing. The treatment that we have just now is too little too late. This new scanner, we're hoping, will change that. Too late for Charlie. His memories are confined to the meticulous diaries kept throughout his playing days. They were all kept um, in small children's exercises. He wrote everything in longhand and maybe three anecdotes to a page. I saw the originals that he actually wrote himself handwritten and they were immaculate, they were incredible. But the detail in them, you know, he, he wrote a bit about me, he wrote a bit about Dada, and it's uh, very proud of him, I think. Now it's hoped the book based on those diaries will raise half a million pounds towards the scanner. For his family, perhaps his real legacy. Alison Wood, BBC Look North, take over his heart. Now, one of the most eager.